My name is Mami So, and I open my house to strangers so that they can feel, experience the Kampong spirit. One Kind House is a 21st century Kampong. It has a spirit of the oldest Kampong. Now I'm doing this at One Kind House, teaching, cooking, as well as home dining. We are on the Airbnb experience, and there are tourists who come for the cooking lessons. Nowadays, the tourists are well-traveled. They like the feel of coming to a person's house. Like when we go for holidays, we like to learn the culture also. So for them also, is that they learn the culture and the house. That's what One Kind House is about. They like the idea of home cook because some of them miss. They say they miss it during the days when they are away or when they are too young to learn. The idea came from my son. Since I retired, he says, why don't we do something about the house? I like cooking and I like gardening. So he said, why don't we put two and two together? I'll do the curry chicken, start from scratch. Curry chicken, they have to have all the spices. There are three types of chilies. The fresh chili, the dried chili, and the small chili. Then we have the shallots, turmeric, ginger, then we have the candle nuts. I grind them all together and make it into a paste. The coconut is freshly bought from the wet market and then you have to squeeze it out to get the juice. Potato, we add it in last when the chicken is cooked. Because if you cook with raw potatoes, it takes a longer time and the chicken meat will be very tough. Then there's a pan fried black pound fruit. The fish is marinated with salt and turmeric powder and black pepper. And then you eat the fish with the cardano pesto. And what we get is sometimes the vegetables from our garden. We have hydroponic and we have ground. And then they can see that the vegetables that we provide are fresh straight from the garden. We have tomatoes, we have spinach, we have chili plant, and we are growing passion fruit. Recipes, I learned it from my mother. We used to watch her cook and at the same time, I have to learn to cook. Because when she's not free, I have to take over. Since I'm the eldest in the family of 12. So each family has its own recipe. It's not a standardized recipe. And when I cook, I don't give the standardized recipe. I teach you the concept. For you, you learn. And then you go home and you treat it to your taste. We have the blue pea rice. The blue pea rice, they are dried. I put it in hot water to extract the colour. So I put it into the rice. And into the rice, I put pandan leaf, lemongrass, garlic, ginger and galanga. A bit of salt and a bit of oil. The rice will taste similar to chicken rice. There's a dessert. We have a pineapple and we have a pear. And then we chop some herbs like mint, basil, kaffir lime, salt and a chilli, you chop it up and then you dip it in the chopped mint and then eat it. And my biggest motivation is to keep one kind house open to let strangers or visitors come in and then we meet all kinds of people all from abroad or locally. Then explaining the concept of the plants and the house, that's what makes me go in. <laughs>